called, what's it called? Lake Josephine. They have a bunch of lakes. They have Lake Josephine. They have Lake Joanna and a bunch of other lakes. So we just try to, because it's summer, we said, you know what? Why are, it would be nice to try out, go outside, get familiarized with the outside because um, Puerto Rico coming soon. So this is how it looks pretty cool. But yeah, just just a Sunday by the lake and it'll be fun because in a couple weeks we're going to the cabin up north and that'll be a fun, fun time. But it's kind of like a Sunday thing out here to just go by the lake. There's a lot of kids playing around, some people laying, uh, just getting tanned. I'm trying to get tanned, but uh, but yeah, just fun, fun, relaxing time over here. Oh, that's smart. Going over here instead of over there. Flights booked by Drake on Making Spotify. a wave. Here's flights booked by Drake on Spotify. Actually, can you do something? back at the apartment after a nice fun lake day out today in a few minutes in about 14 minutes i'm gonna do live stream episode three so i'm just reviewing some key points from episode two to briefly review that on episode three and then we're going to talk about why men have decided to not take part on dating culture and what do men need to do to improve and you know work on themselves so that's what I'm getting ready for in about, like I mentioned, 14 minutes. But so far, so good. These past two live streams, this one will be the third one, have gone good. The first one, I, only, I had three people engaging. Uh, one of them was my dad. And then two, two of, you know, Mike, which is a, a subscriber. Shout out to Mike. And then uh, Corey. And then in the second live stream, we had more people engage and then we have Angel and we had a couple people show up. So it it's good to see how it continues to grow with every live stream that I do. Obviously for this specific month, because it's Men's Mental Health Awareness Month, I decided to do one live stream each Sunday. So this is the third one. The next one will be next Sunday, but so far so good. I've enjoyed it so far, but uh, yes, just wanted to tap in with you guys. If you guys wanted to check it out, it'll be on my channel on my live tab. I'm gonna have all the, the live streams there. Currently, episode one already has timestamps. I still gotta work on episode two. I gotta watch all the two hours and 12 minutes of the live stream so that I can go through different timestamps of what I think are key and important topics that we discussed. So it makes it easier for you guys to check it out. Um, ask you to scroll through so that way you can just 
go to whatever which one you like instead of watching the two hours um, if you want to watch the two hours shout out to you and I appreciate you um, so I'm gonna catch you guys tomorrow on Monday to start the week strong because now I'm gonna tap in for an hour and 30 to two hours with mental talks episode three so we'll see we'll see how it goes You know, I had to hit up my stylist ASAP, bro, for real. I was starting to look crazy, and we can't have that. We got to get it right. We got to get it right. We got to look fresh. So I always look forward to these appointments because not only I get a haircut and I feel fresh and I feel confident, but my stylist and I, we talk about a lot of things over the course of an hour, hour and a half that my haircut lasts. And it brings me a breath of fresh air getting to hear the perspective from someone that's in another chapter of their life and just the great conversation that we have about our lives about vacation about sports about you know the current state of the world business etc it's it's a therapy session as much as it is a haircut it is a therapy session and i enjoy having this time to focus on myself and have and engage in some great conversation that'll help us grow both grow and uh, as you guys can see here, I'm looking nice and I'm feeling myself. I'll feel myself in three, two, one, bam. Look at that model face right there. Three, two, boom. Do I have a career model? Be for real. Comment down below if I have a career model. But yeah, y'all got to prioritize yourself. Take care of yourself. Get a haircut. Feel nice because if you feel nice, if you feel good, you'll do good. Progress will start to come.
We just wrapped up a leg workout this morning. Honestly, it felt really good, not gonna lie. It's been quite a while since I've had a good leg workout. I've had wor workouts where, or leg day workouts, but it hasn't been to this magnitude where I've done squats, I've done leg curls, goblet squat, you know, the whole nine yards from hamstrings to quads. So to actually like calves that I just wrapped up, um, felt good, felt good. It made me realize, it made me, sorry, I was thinking over the past couple of days that uh, progress starts when you, st when progress starts when you take care of yourself. I think a lot of us are wanting progress. A lot of us want to get things rolling in the right direction and feel like we're being productive or fear, feeling like everything's going our way. And we rarely think about you know, where it starts, you know, the foundation that we've talked about before. And, and it starts with you, you know, it starts with you. So once you start taking care of yourself, you're, you'll start to see progress. And I can tell you by experience, like recently this past week, I've been doing more, you know, you guys saw it at the beginning uh, of the vlog. Uh, me and my girlfriend went outside to a lake and just being outside and then you know, getting my hair cut. Your boy's fresh now, your boy's fresh. Um, and now getting a workout in, it, uh, it is super helpful for you. And I started noticing that once I start putting effort towards myself and just being focused, as I talked in, in the previous video, prioritizing focus and building better habits, You'll, you'll slowly get rolling. And that's where I'm at right now. I'm at that stage where I feel in a good rhythm. I feel, you know, taking momentum. So it's something that we all gotta work on. Doing better is taking care of ourselves because before we can, you know, achieve goals and do anything in life, we gotta start taking care of ourselves. So I'm gonna wrap up and then, I'll, yeah, this probably will be the end of the video. This is the beginning of the week. It is Tuesday. So you guys will see this video on Wednesday. So if you're having a great start to your week, keep it rolling. Finish the week strong. If, if you didn't have a good start to your week, hey, there's always today. And you can bounce back and learn why you felt however you felt yesterday or even this morning. And just prioritize how you're feeling and your thoughts because your thoughts become reality. So make sure that you're thinking of things that will help you grow instead of things that are holding you back, excuses, limitations, so food, some food for thought, but I gotta get, I gotta get rolling because I gotta make a post-workout smoothie and then head back to where so I'll see you. Peace. Never seem to get it right no more than right now.